Thanks to the scientific approach, we clarify and explain this recent discovery on Mars. We give you a warm welcome to this new documentary. If it is the first time, I introduce myself. I am the engineer Hitakal Morrison and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. Join me on a tour of Gale Crater on Mars, the current location of the Curiosity rover, which has just identified this strange object on the Martian surface with its camera. Do not stop watching this video until the end, where you will know new riddles of the Red Planet. From an engineer's perspective. Let's start. It was this robot from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration of the United States, NASA, called the Curiosity rover, which discovered this strange object on the surface of the planet Mars, while the robot was touring the Gale Crater, an area in which the Curiosity rover has been since November 2012, in almost 10 years of successful robotic scientific research work. In order to know exactly what this is, which many have batted with multiple speculative qualifiers, we need to remember and know the area where that object was identified. This rare find was recorded by the Curiosity rover prior to a drilling procedure on February 14, 2022 in a crater on Mars called Gale. A place possibly generated by the impact of a meteorite with a diameter of 154 kilometers and an age between 3,500 and 3,800 million years old. This crater has a central peak of 5,500 meters altitude and was named in honor of Walter Frederick Gale, an amateur astronomer assiduous observer of planets and a fervent defender of life on Mars. Gale Crater is characterized by the presence of clay and sulfate minerals. Types of aqueous minerals that we have detected on Mars to date can be found in this location, explains Gollenbeck. Clay slowly settles in water and forms little platelets that settle around things, hardening over time and enveloping them like a mold. The clay could seal in organic components from the outside environment, just as it preserved dinosaur bones here on Earth. If organic compounds ever existed on Mars, they might be preserved in clay. Let's see the dimension and characteristics of this discovery, together with the new images of the Martian clouds captured by Curiosity. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology and the universe. Thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. Since its landing, the rover Curiosity robot has spent more than 23 kilometers traveled on the surface of the planet Mars. With this official NASA publication, this image of the strange finding was released. In a photograph taken by the mast camera or mast cam aboard the Curiosity rover on February 14, 2022. Although no additional details are given in the NASA publication, unofficial scientific evaluations have established that it is a small object, less than 40 centimeters. Which, due to the region and characteristics of that surface, it is understood that it must be a rock with an atypical structure which due to the angle at which the image was taken generates a mental effect that leads to giving you an interpretation or form known by the human mind, for the psychological effect known as pareidolia. What we see is a simple rock, it is not ruled out that it could be a meteorite fragment. But what is very clear is that it is nothing extraordinary or suggestive of the long-awaited sign of extraterrestrial life. This is an unusual rock formation on the surface of the red planet. A rock with a strange structure, the rover prepared the surface to drill and took an image of this rock, in a very important work since the Curiosity rover rover recently drilled more than 20 holes in the rocks of Mars and found carbon, which is one of the signs of the organic past on Mars. After spotting rocks, the Curiosity rover caught sight of these beautiful clouds passing by, conducting atmospheric science on Mars recording these images of drifting clouds in an attempt to measure the speed of the clouds movement. But it wasn't an easy task. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory noted in this issue on February 15th, because Curiosity's cameras aren't designed to look at the sky. Rather, the rover's cameras were meant to capture images. Martian clouds are very faint in the atmosphere, so special imaging techniques are needed to see them, NASA said. Multiple images are taken to achieve a clear, static background. This allows anything that moves in the image, such as clouds or shadows, to become visible after subtracting this static background from each individual image. The Curiosity rover used its navigation camera twice to examine the clouds from two different angles. 
two views that allow scientists to calculate the speed and height of the clouds, which in turn provide clues about their composition. These clouds are very high, almost 80 kilometers above the surface. It is very cold at this height, suggesting that these clouds are composed of carbon dioxide ice rather than water ice clouds, which are normally found at lower elevations. NASA pointed out in the statement, in which it did not mention how fast the clouds were moving, but typical wind speeds near the surface of Mars are around 7 km per hour to 35 km per hour, which could be the fast enough to provide wind power on the red planet. An extremely interesting and important fact, before the establishment of a future colony of human beings on the planet Mars. As I leave you with these recent images of the Martian surface, I'd like to get your thoughts on this strange rock and gale crater and these beautiful clouds. I read them, I invite you to find us in the comments of this video. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.